Okay, so one question that I hear a lot is how can you use Google Slides to make a virtual gallery of student work? And also within that gallery, how can you make sure that students don't delete each other's work? So here's what I have set up. I just went in and created a blank slide deck. See, blank slides. And at the front of it, it says virtual gallery, American literature. And then I just put some examples in here. I have all the students names and I have the um, page of the slide deck that they're going to put their work on. So once you create one of these for each of your classes, then anytime you want to do a virtual gallery, you can use the same opening slide. That's a big time saver. You don't want to be typing in everyone's name and their slide number every single time you, you want them to show each other their work. And then there are instructions for them here on the bottom on your personal slide. So whatever they're working on in their own independent drive, they're going to go to file, then they're going to go to download, then they're going to download their slide as a PNG image, and then they're going to save it. Okay, so they know what they need to do. Um, they need to grab a PNG image and save that PNG image so that they can then drop it into this um, gallery. And you are going to go up to share and you're going to go to permissions because you want all your students to be able to work with this. Anyone with the link can edit. Okay, so you're going to let all the students that you send this to edit it. Now you're done. You've got your gallery set up. And you're, what you're going to ask them to do is um, go to their slide, grab their PNG image from whatever they've been working on, whatever you want them to show everybody, and then they're going to drop it in as the background of their slide. Okay, so let me just do this little example for you. Let's say I am one of the students and I've been working on this hexagonal thinking chart and I have dragged all my terms for 1984 into the slide the way I want them to be. I want to show the class what I did and I want to see everybody else's. So this is slide number four in this toolkit that I've been working in for class. I'm going to go to file and go to download and go to PNG image. And now I'm going to see that. So let's export it to my desktop as um, 1984 hexagons. And now when I go to the class gallery, I see Betsy, that's me, I'm on page three. So I go to page three, I click on background, I choose my image, and what did I just call it? 1984 hexagons. So now I've done my part of the class gallery. Aaron, Dave, Jack, Evan, Charlie, LaRonda, O'Neill, and Samantha still need to do their pages. And then, you know, after about eight minutes of internet flip-flopping, we're going to see what every single person in the class's slides look like. And the kids can go through, they can comment on each other's, or you can have a little discussion of it, um, or however you want to do a wrap-up activity with your gallery. But anytime you want everybody to show their work, this is a really easy way to do it, especially once you get templates set up for every class with blank slides. The one thing um, you want to be sure is just that these gallery pages are the same size as whatever they're working on. So I have a horizontal 8.5 by 11 here because I had a horizontal 8.5 by 11 over here. Um, if I was working in an eight by eight or a, you know, a vertical page in the student work, then that's what the gallery needs to be too for this background thing to work. Um, and as long as they match, then it drops in really easily as the background. And the nice thing about this is that it's just if another student accidentally deletes somebody else's slide, it's not that big of a deal because that student has the PNG image. They can just drop it in from their own work again. Um, I know a lot of teachers struggle if you have students just working in the slide that you eventually are going to use as the gallery. Then if another student jumps in there and accidentally deletes it, it's super frustrating. So if you just let everybody work independently and then drop their work in at the end for others to see, I think that eliminates a lot of that chaos and confusion.